Welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem! The first thing we're going to do in this episode is go over to this house and see what they have in store for us. Yes, I can help the village. What, you think a pretty girl like Florian is just going to burn the place down to the ground? No. Oh. Well, they're going to give us money? Oh, because there's an armory to the southeast of this place. Also, once you do visit a village, which I forgot to mention last time, is that... Yeah, yeah, your weapons can break. I think they went over to Serene, didn't they? Well, anyways, once you visit a village, the doors will inevitably close. Like, the gates close. But if a bandit or so gets to a village, it's going to end up looking like this. Which is completely destroyed, and you will not be able to get the item from the place at all later. So, you're going to want to make sure you... Oh, wow, 64%? Nah, that's better. 78's a lot better than 64%. Now what's nice is that the archers cannot shoot back or hit you at all when you attack them up close. They are only ranged fighters, which is actually really good in my opinion. This whole chapter is actually just pretty easy. Um, let's actually put Kent down there because Kent is going to get attacked by that archer in oh, instead of Sane. And, uh, just having Sane be attacked is just fine actually. Oh boy. Ooh, yeah that's going to hurt a little bit. Um, what should I talk about? I've been running out of things to talk about for some reason. Maybe I'm just not used to, uh... Hmm... Let's kind of pull Sane back, put Lin in the front, and let's attack this damn bandit up here. It's not like he's gonna need his health anyways. Um, I've been playing Resident Evil Mercenaries 3D for the 3DS quite recently, and I have to say, the game is definitely a lot of fun. Um, it plays exactly like the same style of Resident Evil 4 and 5. There's no dodge rolls or moving while you shoot, unless you have that extra joy pad, which I never cared to buy. So, it's been a really fun game, to be honest, and I do enjoy playing characters that were in games in the past, like Barry, Rebecca Chambers, Claire Redfield. Of course, you still have your, your, your plain old Chris and Jill type scenario. Wow, he still hit me with that? Ooh, yeah, Pegasus Knights can be really good if you train them right. I just never bother, so I'm just going to leave Florian out there in the mountains. And I'm not too worried about that Archer either, because he only has a 61% chance. But Len doesn't have a high, high enough defense, such as... Hold on. She has... What's her defense? Three? Alright. Uh, let's go with... How do I switch my characters? Alright, let's go with him. Six. Yeah, so K Sane has a lot more defense than Lin does, obviously. Although, we're gonna have to get Lin some new swords. Uh, speaking of Resident Evil Mercenaries 3D, playing online with a friend is actually a very good idea. I won't be able to hit him, will I? Well, I can at least go over here for now, and I could hit this guy. Maybe I'll get a critical? Get a critical? Aww. I can only dream. I love training Will, though. Um, now let's have Florina attack this guy first. Yeah, playing online for 3DS games, I found online to be m mostly flawless. There are times where it's still... Eh, it lags once in a while, like any online game would. I'm sure Xbox 360 games function the same way, to some extent. Um, yeah, but as far as online play goes, the only online games I really play are some PlayStation 3 ones, which is like Resident Evil 6, I used to play Resistance 2, and Call of Duty Black Ops or any other recent Call of Duty game that comes out within the next year or two or whatever that I don't buy, but my friends do, so I just play it when they bring it over. Yeah, I know, it's not necessarily cheap, it's fair, it's, it's just, well, how I play those kind of games. I don't feel like spending $60 every time they come out, and just eight months later, here comes another Call of Duty game. Yeah, not exactly interested in that. Oh, actually, I could have had Will kill that guy. Oh, wait, no, I couldn't have. Never mind, take that back. Let's go ahead and take out this damn archer. That way, in the next turn, I can start advancing onto Vault the Bandit King. No, not King of Bandit Kings, not that guy. I mean, not Jing from, you know what I mean. Jing, uh, uh, Jing, King of Bandits, that's a good sh uh, anime. At least that's the Japanese word for it. King of Bandit Jing, that's the English phrase for it. 
We want to equip the Monikati. It has a 15 attack power compared to a 12. Although its hit ratio isn't as high, but its critical hit is so much better. Oh wait, no, go there. And then let's go ahead and go to our first armory. What are this armory has in store? Yeah, just swords and lances. This is a RTS game with RPG elements like leveling up and stuff, which I like about it. For Lin, I'm going to want to buy an iron sword, and I'm going to want to buy an extra stock of... Oh. Well, I guess I'm not buying that, but I'm going to buy that extra iron sword. How much room do you have? Let's see here. Uh, yeah, he has plenty of room. I want to buy at least one more iron lance, and then call it good. That way I can use it for one of for someone else later. Actually, I could use the floor Florina, because her slim lance, it's not that great to be honest. So you're gonna go with the iron lance. It's it's a lot better, just saying. Alright. Now you could have Will pick out the bandit guy, Michael, but I'd rather just Wow, I can't just attack him directly from here? I'd rather just wait, to be honest. And no, he will not move. I don't know why, I guess they're so stuck up. I was like, oh, the enemy's approaching me. I'll just sit on my ass and suck my thumb. But if you have Lynn attack him, there's actually a little more dialogue that you can get. <laughs> no, she's not going to beg for her life. Talver? Uh, what? Oh, different kinds of bandits, huh? So these guys aren't like Talver bandits. Uh, weren't you just talking about raping Florina? Did I just hear you correctly in the last episode? Spare the women, that way you can do probable things to them? I mean, uh... Okay, so you don't harm women? Uh... Oh, you're gonna sell them in a sex trade. Got it. Okay, you guys are still horrible. No reason to... <laughs> uh... Okay. Yeah, do so now. Oh, she gives him a chance to flee, though. No more courtesies. I guess you would be living on your own, so I just killed all your other bandits. But with a 27 hit chance, if he does hit you, that would suck, but I highly doubt it. But man, look at the Monty Cotty! Wow, one turn, and I totally wiped out this guy. The Monty Cotty is such a great sword. But you can only use it 45 times, and then you can't, it breaks. Yeah. The most awesome sword in the world breaks, right? Yeah, that's just kind of how it works that way. Your items can break, the numbers by them indicates how many times you can use them. Lynn, you are just getting the best level ups in the world! Oh, thank god you are, because that's amazing. You're going to be a really strong character later. Unlike Sane, because he got one for some damn reason. Or was that Kent, last episode? I just filmed that last night, and I can't remember who got the one, like on Resistance or something stupid. Oh, so she came here to further her training? Oh, and you want to talk to Glenn too? Oh, wow, word travels fast. So you heard about her traveling? We've only been out traveling for what, a couple days, a few days, something like that. Yeah, a lot of them are. <laughs> but you still want to join us? It's going to be a long journey. Oh, you'll be a Pegasus Knight someday. Wait, isn't she a Pegasus Knight? Actually, no, she's a lower class of a Pegasus Knight. More like a... What's that word called? A Squire? Although it's not called Pegasus Squire. I, I'm i serious, it's not. But she can become a Pegasus Knight later through class upgrades that we'll be getting to way later in the game. It's still way too early for stuff like that. Oh god, Sane, why are you flirting with Florina? Oh wait, maybe he's not. Oh, a fine group of soldiers, huh? <laughs> and freelance to boot. Uh, did he? No, we're got, we're not gonna exclude Will there. He just <laughs> he he just goes straight for the girls first. He's like Brock in Pokemon, always going for the ladies and cracking jokes. Although I don't think Brock no Brock says Brock does crack a lot of jokes in Pokemon, doesn't he? Yeah, it's a bit rushed, but, yeah, wanna come with us? Why not? I mean, you can make your pay. Not that Lynn's paying anybody, I'm sure. But hey, volunteer workers, great. Let's get on to it. Ugh, didn't you already say your name was Sane, though? Oh, I guess Sane does get close too fast. He's on a horse, too, to be honest. 
Uh, we can be called mercenaries. Uh, yeah, considering Kent won't flirt with her, he's probably a good person to give the task to. Oh, of course. You could come with us, Will. And he's going to be a phenomenal sniper later on if you train him right. Sadly, I never do. I always put all my enemy experience towards other characters. But there, I, there have been times where I have trained him right, and he was a way better sniper than one you're going to find much later. Oh, and I love clip art like this. Lennis is Legion. <laughs> oh, Legion, Legion. Oh, I'm thinking of a song. Yeah, it definitely is getting stranger every day. I love art like that. I mean, I wish I could draw like that. I've been taking drawing classes in college, but I still suck at it. Completely. On the bright side, though, viewers, um, I'm going to be able to continue with my Resident Evil 4 Let's Play after all. Uh, getting partnered through Social Blade didn't take as long as I thought it would, so I'm gonna be able to continue with that, and that'll be a lot of fun. I just have to replay and get my game data back before I record another episode. Just to let some of you know. Oh. I totally just skipped this episode's title. I mean, not the episode title, but the chapter title. Oh. Looks like a... Yeah, it's an old... Military fortress, huh? Or Mildewy Fortress. Was he making for making fun of military, or is Mildewy an actual term to describe a rundown fortress? I mean, and there's oh mildew on it. No, oh, why I'm stupid. Never mind, forget it. Forget it. I just figured it out. Yeah, it'll be fine. The girls can have a room and the guys can stand watch. <laughs> yeah. Plus feeling the one Wait a minute, I wouldn't want to sleep outside where the wind's blowing. Okay, maybe I would. But, you know, not every night, you know. Well, it's not no choice, and sure, I would. Yeah, you guys should re-alternate the watches so bandits don't attack us when we're sleeping. You're funny, Sane. Real funny. Hold on a second, there's someone else in there. Who are they? They're green, so they're not enemies, at least. Uh, what's up? Who are you? No, no need to be so apologetic. Well, hello, Natalie. Nice to meet you. Oh, cool. Uh oh, you're hurt, aren't you? Yeah, your leg. It's... Oh, childhood sickness. Well, at least her leg isn't cut off, you know, like Anakin Skywalker. Ahem. That would suck, though. They don't really go into much detail about the childhood sickness, like exactly what it is that's making her leg hurt. Oh, looking for your husband, huh? Wow, what a nice guy who's going to raise money to get your leg fixed up. Oh, but he hasn't returned yet. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, has he been involved in something dangerous before, I might ask? Yeah, this Let's Play is obviously going to be let more slower than all the other ones I've done because it's a turn-based type of game with lots of dialogue and it focuses more on story elements and strategy compared to just running in there and killing crap, you know, like in Zelda. <laughs> you know. So it's definitely a more slow-paced type of game, which I know a lot of my viewers want to be so, you know, attracted to. But, you know, it's just something different from what I usually do Let's Plays on. But yeah, we'll find them anyways. We'll find them. We'll find them. Then I'll find my career. What? Nothing. Nothing! But we'll find them. Ah, of course. We wouldn't be playing a game if there weren't pandas to attack us. But damn, are they persistent. Yeah, we defeated Michael. What's it to you? You want to see if you can beat us instead of him? Because we kicked his butt! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, they're not so nice to each other either. But hey, they know what the word idiot means. Yeah, so what if some of them are women? Uh, so you don't want to attack them at night, huh? Oh, yeah, so they don't want to hurt the women, actually. Unless you take your girl characters and attack them first. Card? Card? Jigo? What? Oh, that's the guy's name. Okay, never mind. I thought it was some sort of slang. Okay, sure. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna crush that dream, buddy. So quick. 
I like how they have like different artwork for all the bosses at least, like all the main character bosses for like the end of the chapters and stuff like that. I think it's really good. Whoa, that's a lot of bandits at first. Yeah, this could either go good or bad. Oh, Dorcas, huh? He must be another real bad guy. Sally doesn't look like he gives a crap about anything. Uh, okay. Oh, it's his first day on the job. And it's going to be his last if he attacks us, because we're not dealing with any stinking bandits. Seriously. Okay. Okay. This guy is a beep! Seriously. Blank this guy. Whoa, 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 wait, Natalie? So, is this guy Natalie's husband? Find out next time on Let's Play Fire Emblem Blazing Sword. And will we survive this attack? That's for you to figure out. Have a good day.